Hello everybody. This time I would like to model one of my cat's toy balls. It is basically a sphere which is hollow and has round holes in it. So let me start with the sphere but with the tessellation one with a round level of one. Control bring it out here. Drop the tool Go to Edge Mode, select all these edges and hit the B key to bevel them like so, just a bit. Drop the tool and now we see if we go to the Polygon Statistics by Vertex we have 20 uh, triangles so I select these then invert this selection so they are deselected and then hit the D key once. I have now invert, uh, converted the triangles to uh, N-gons. I can uh, select these N-gons now, go to the system, tap, run script and run Seneca Menars Perfect Circle Script. And here we are. Now these N-Gons are nice circles, but they are too close to each other. So Action Center Local, hit the R key, and on the blue one here, I move them away a bit like so. Drop the tool, action center, back to s default, then hit the B key for bevel, bevel this in a bit and delete. Now I want to get rid of all these lines here, so I go to edge mode, select all these edges, and backspace delete them. Then go to bottom view, do the same here. <coughs> okay, backspace delete. Now let's see what's left. There is one, this one, this one, backspace delete, perspective view, there is one left and that looks good. Now I hit uh, the D key to subdivide it and bring in my super globe which I have in uh, my presets. I have already brought it in just very quickly. It is a globe where which has not the spider in here. Uh, I made it exactly the way I described in my Making Perfect Surface tutorial. So, back to my mesh here. Uh, I think first I center everything in the middle, then see this one. Uh, Go to background constraint, hit the R key, and on the middle circle here, bring this out. And make sure you have vector and double sided selected here. Drop the tool, get rid of my globe, and then I can go to polygon. Uh, thicken, click in the viewport, blue handle, thicken this a bit, then uh, she, uh, hit the tab key to go in sub D mode and here it is, my cat's toy ball in less than five minutes. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, as usual, I will leave this on for a bit.
so I hopefully can use it as a thumbnail. Thanks again for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.